Operators of Xactrate liquid fertilizer systems need to be aware of a few procedures in order to quickly prepare the system for use. In this video, I will show you how to fill the onboard fertilizer tank, set the tank level on the display, and prime the solution pump and distribution lines. Before beginning any procedure, follow the safety instructions and understand all safety decals according to the operator's manuals. Install cylinder locks when working on a planter in the raised position. Refer to the material safety data sheets available with your fertilizer products for information on the proper personal protective equipment to use. The Xactrate liquid fertilizer system does not have the ability to pull product into the onboard tank. Before loading the fertilizer, set the valves so the product can flow into the tank. Verify that the valve in front of the fill coupler is closed before removing the cap. Attach the hose from the tender to the fill coupler. Open the valve in front of the fill coupler. Product can now be pushed onto the planter. When the desired amount of fertilizer is in the tank, close the ball valve in front of the fill coupler. On the tender, close the valves on the pump supply line and turn off the pump. Disconnect the tender hose from the fill coupler and attach the fill coupler cap. The Xactrate liquid fertilizer system does not include a sensor in the tank to measure the amount of product, so the tank level must be entered into the display once the liquid tank is filled with the desired amount of product. On the display, open the app by pressing on the tank area of the run page or opening the menu. The system allows for three tank fill presets. Choose the preset number you wish to set, then enter the value using the keypad. Repeat for the other two presets. The preset values must be less than or equal to the tank capacity. To set the tank level, choose the correct preset on the left. Then press the button next to the graph to set the level. The software calculates the tank level as product is applied to the field. There are two ways to prime the solution pump. You can flood the pump using gravity, or you can use compressed air. Since we will be opening the nozzles during the priming process, the EPG must be turned on. If the fluid level in the onboard tank is higher than the pump inlet, gravity can be used to push the air out of the system. During the priming procedure, liquid will flow out of the drain hose. To prime the pump using gravity, verify that the valves are set so liquid can flow from the tank to the pump. Open the Venturi manual valve, turn the solution pump on, turn the nozzles on. Close the Venturi manual valve when fluid is coming out of the drain hose. Continue to run the pump and nozzles until fluid is coming out of all fertilizer nozzles. On some planters equipped with an onboard air compressor, an airline is connected to the Venturi for the Xactrate liquid fertilizer system. On other planters, a compressed air connector is installed on the Venturi for connecting shop air. In this video, I will demonstrate priming the pump using an onboard air compressor. Verify that there is air pressure in the tank before starting this procedure. During the priming procedure, pressurized air and liquid will shoot out of the drain hose. To prime the pump using compressed air, verify that the valves are set so liquid can flow from the tank to the pump. Open the compressed air manual valve. Then open the Venturi manual valve. Turn the solution pump on. Turn the nozzles on. Compressed air will vent out of the drain hose. Close both manual valves when liquid is flowing from the drain hose. Continue to run the pump and nozzles until fluid is coming out of all fertilizer nozzles. Valve lighting will flash if there are any faults. Turn the nozzles off. The pump and distribution lines are now primed. The pump can be left on if the system will be used within a few minutes. The pump will stay primed as long as fluid is maintained at the pump inlet. The pump will need to be primed again if air is allowed to reach the pump inlet, either by running the onboard tank empty or by opening the plumbing in front of the pump. Now you should be able to fill the onboard fertilizer tank, set the tank level on the display, and 
prime the solution pump and distribution lines. 